Welcome to my channel. This is the daily news clips. But before I get into that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And thank you most of all for the comments and the interaction that we're having. And the growth of my channel is stunning. Amazing to me. Thank you so much. I have a number of items on the list today for news. The first one is, Democrats have voted unanimously to include illegal immigrants in the census. This really isn't anything new. They do this every time they vote about the census, but <clears throat> it's just including people who are not citizens of this country into things like apportionment of the legislature and voting rights and so forth and so on is so antithetical to our constitutional republic. And yet we have to put up with this because we have politicians that don't care about our constitutional republic. They only care about their own selves and their own lives. As always, I put all these links in the description so you can read them for yourself. Uh, I have a video which I'm not going to show you from Tucker Carlson called Uncensored, the TikTok ban. It's a discussion of why the TikTok ban is a bad idea. And if you think about how many Americans are using TikTok now, <clears throat> you just have to wonder what's behind this. And there's an article, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> There is an article uh, on uh, Racket from Matt Taibbi, who is an independent journalist who, um, in my opinion, has a great deal of integrity because he doesn't bow to the powers that be. The article is titled, Why the TikTok Ban is So Dangerous. And in the article, he talks about the wording of the law that basically makes it possible for the president to define anyone as a foreign actor and it's you know we we've had this since 911 we keep getting more and more um security quote unquote piled on top of us which is more and more suppression of our rights as our freedom freedom of speech the freedom to assemble, all these things are being, uh, there's being pressure being put on them to reduce the amount of rights that we're allowed to exercise, the amount of our rights that we're allowed to exercise. It's just bad, bad, bad. And this is one that just makes me shake my head. I go, what in the world? The Biden admin has re renewed their Iran sanctions waiver, unlocking upwards of $10 billion for the regime. Now, how does this make any sense at all? We're currently fighting the Houthis who are using Iranian money to fire missiles on shipping in the Persian Gulf and the Suez Canal and and we're giving Iran money so that they can buy more weapons for these people? I mean, come on, what in the world? It just... <laughs> oh, I will never understand how the politicians think. The only, the only logical conclusion I can come to is that they don't care about us. They just don't care. If you think about the TikTok ban, it's the Republicans that are pushing this. Think about that. You a Republican? Well, your, your Republican politicians are pushing a ban of TikTok, which has wording in it that would make it so that the President of the United States could suppress your free speech. <sighs> what? Oh, man, I'll tell you. And another article about 
uh, vaccines, about the COVID vaccines. Higher mortality was found among vaccinated patients hospitalized for COVID-19. In a new study, vaccinated patients had a 70% risk of mortality compared with 37% in the unvaccinated group. Now think about this. This is people who have, uh, have contracted COVID. They've been vaccinated. They still got COVID. They have a 70% risk of dying, whereas people who have never been vaccinated have a 37% risk. Oh, and then finally, we get to end of today, which is <clears throat> this article. Judge McAfee has decided not to disqualify Bonnie Willis, but she or her lover have to walk away from the case. The end result is going to be that the case is not going to get tried before the election. So, uh, <laughs> I just want to read you a little bit of what the judge wrote in his ruling. Uh, uh, SADAs, that's a special assistant district attorney, that would be Nathan Wade, o oath of office in combination with the supervision theoretically provided by a neutral and detached district attorney should generally be sufficient to dispel the appearance of that improper incentive. Nor would a romantic relationship between prosecutors standing alone typically implicate disqualification, assuming neither prosecutor had the ability to pay the other as long as their relationship persisted. However, he noted, in combination, as is alleged here by the defendants, a prima facie case argument arises of financial enrichment and improper motivations, which inevitably and unsurprisingly invites a motion such as this. And then later in the article it says, while the judge refused to disqualify Willis and did not find that she had prejudiced potential jurors against the defendants, he did blast her, quote, tremendous lapse in judgment, the, quote, unprofessional manner of the district attorney, attorney's testimony during the evidentiary hearing, quote, and Willis's, quote, bad choices, unquote. Further, he indicated that the General Assembly, the Georgia State Ethics Commission, the State Bar of Georgia, the Fulton County Board of Commissioners, and voters in the county may, quote, offer feedback <laughs> on an unanswered, any unanswered questions that linger. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love that. They may offer feedback. <laughs> yeah, the feedback may be uh, you're going to lose your bar license or uh, you're not going to be a district attorney anymore. But we'll see. I mean, time will tell. But I think this case, as far as being tried before the November election, is not going to happen because she has to find a replacement for the special prosecutor and there's going to be lots of more delays and so forth from the attorneys. So, uh, <laughs> I'll put all these links in the description as I always do so that you can follow up on this stuff yourself. And isn't the news in our country just lovely every day? Oh, as for you, my viewers, I pray that you all have an abundant life, that you will live a long time and that you'll be healthy and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you care about. And I pray especially that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out. <laughs>